40,000 years ago, an ancient hunter drew a picture of a bison on a cave wall and simultaneously around the country, making it possible to tell one story to mass audiences. That made storytelling big business. Radio aired hilarious comedies and thrilling dramas with a problem with the miracle of TV. Unless you owned a broadcast network or were a huge corporation who could pay for the airtime, nobody could afford to tell their story on television. It wasn't fair. Of course, as in any good story, a stranger always comes to town to rescue law-abiding citizens from the bad guy. The hero who tamed the Goliath of expensive exclusive brand storytelling on television was, of course, the internet. People respond emotionally to video because they immediately identify with what they see and hear on the screen. People want to be who they see and to have what they see in videos. This gets your story across in the fastest, most powerful way possible. This is true whether a 12-year-old girl watches Jimi Hendrix on YouTube and imagines she could one day play guitar that well, or a business person watches an online新年快乐！我妈说不能收。新年快乐，谢谢姑姑，但我不能要。快拿着，不用了。新年快乐，拿着，上学用。行了，不用了。
we're introducing three revolutionary products of this class. The first one is a widescreen iPod with touch controls. The second is a revolutionary mobile phone. And the third is a breakthrough internet communications device. So, three things. A widescreen iPod with touch controls, a revolutionary mobile phone, and a breakthrough internet communications device. An iPod, a phone, and an internet communicator. An iPod, a phone. Are you getting it? These are not three separate devices. This is one device. And we are calling it iPhone. Today, Today, Apple is going to reinvent the phone. And here it is. <laughs> no. So, we're going to reinvent the phone. Now, we're going to start with a revolutionary user interface. Is the result of years of research and development and, of course, it's an interplay of hardware and software. Now, why do we need a revolutionary user interface? I mean, here's four smartphones, right? Motorola Q, the BlackBerry, Palm Treo, Nokia E62, the usual suspects. And what's wrong with their user interfaces? Well, the problem with them is really sort of in the bottom 40 there. It's, it's this stuff right here. They all have these keyboards that are there whether you need them or not to be there. So how are we going to take this to a mobile device? Well, what we're going to do is get rid of all these buttons and just make a giant screen. A giant screen. Now, how are we going to communicate this? We don't want to carry around a mouse, right? So what are we going to do? Oh, a stylus, right? We're going to use a stylus. No. No. Who wants a stylus? You have to get them and put them away and you lose them. Yuck. Nobody wants a stylus, so let's not use a stylus. We're going to use the best pointing device in the world. We're going to use a pointing device that we're all born with. We're born with 10 of them. We're going to use our fingers. 